Nate, scoreless draw tonight. Let's just get your overall thoughts on the match and how you all think you played. Um, I thought, you know, we've, we've tied a few games recently. Um, I, was, I was proud of our performance. I thought we played pretty well, you know, and this, the result itself doesn't feel great because I think in a lot of phases of the game, in a lot of ways, we did enough to win. Um, but we've had issues scoring goals recently, and uh, that showed up tonight. Um, we were just talking kind of off camera how I, I think every game that we've struggled to score this year um, and every game we've tied, we've had really clean um, and, and a plentiful amount of chances at the beginning. In, in this game, we, I think we really controlled the beginning and had a lot of opportunities in and around their box. And we could have done better with them. Um, and then, you know, as, as the game stretches and gets on, there's, there's a, a frantic nature that occurs, and I, and I think it's harder to get those chances at times. So, you know, we got to take them earlier. Yeah, Molly had a shot from distance. Chloe had a couple. Uh, do you like the way Molly takes those opportunities? For these? She takes a lot of shots from, you know, beyond the box. Yeah, I mean, I think once in a while, Molly will, will force a shot, and I don't blame her. You know, she's trying to make something happen. I thought today those two shots in the second half were really good. So the left-footed one that hit the crossbar, was, was, was so cleanly taken. Um, and she's hit the crossbar, gosh, 10, 15, 20 <laughs> times uh, over the last couple of years and um, unlucky. I, she had that one in the last five minutes where the, 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 the sea kind of parted and she was able to dribble the ball all the way up to about 20 yards out and on her strong right foot. And she just kind of, she just kind of pulled it. Um, and so that's a great shot. So I, I, I thought the shots t she took today were, were some of her more dangerous opportunities. Yeah, you and I talked yesterday about how important you felt like these last few matches were to set up the rest of the season, to try and make a run. Do you feel like tonight's match set that up for you? Yes and no. I think um, I, I, I wasn't pleased how we finished the game against Connecticut, even though we won. And I thought our performance on Sunday against St. John's was a little subpar for us. Um, I, th I think that was about as flat as we've been in, in a year or two. And so today was a better performance against a good team, like credit to Providence. Uh, I was just telling you like how hard I thought they worked. I mean, they, they asked their kids to press and they were pressing all over the field and um, kind of got us a little bit out of rhythm there towards the end. Um, but I'd like to think that this is a game we should win. And I like to think our team believes that. And if, if we're gonna try to make a run and close strong, we have to, we have to win games. And um, the one way to do that is to score goals. It kind of felt like this match was played in waves. You all came in, Xavier came out strong in the beginning, Providence settled in defensively, had a couple opportunities toward the half. You all came out strong in the second half, and then right at the end there was a flurry of chances for Providence. Never really had a clean shot. But how, how do you feel like you all manage those waves and ebbs and flows? Okay, I think it's another area we can improve in is just when, that, when a game gets tense and the frantic nature kind of sets in naturally, can we show some experience um, a cool mind and understand when to calm it down, yeah. when to hit space. And I thought today we were okay at it. Like not great, not bad. Um, some players better than others. And I think that's a lot of it due to experience. And, you know, we have a lot of, we closed with, I think four freshmen on the field. And, um, you know, sometimes it, it takes a few of these games to get, get them ready for, for what's to come. Senior night on Sunday, senior afternoon, I guess, on Sunday against Creighton. Two more matches in the regular season decision, decision day, one week from tonight. You all, you're sitting pretty comfortably right now in, in second place, uh, but what do you feel like you still have left to accomplish in the regular season? Yeah, I mean, um, gosh, we're probably eliminated from even from trying to win it now with Georgetown winning today, which is disappointing because that was one of our goals. And we, two games ago, we were we were sitting tied, controlling our destiny. Um, I think that you know our next goal is obviously try to secure the two seed, get a buy. Um, and that would be great, and that's something we're striving for. But I think more than that, I just want to see a continued growth of our team um, on the field and just te technical execution and then just in mentality. And you know, we, have to, um, we have to take some responsibility about trying to help our players um, set them up for success to score goals, you know, because uh, we've given up one goal in conference this year in eight games, and uh, you know, we have three ties to show for it. So it's, um, it's tough in that way. Haven't given up, given up a goal in October. That's, hey, and, and like uh, our defense was really good again today. I mean, Maddie Reed and Natalie Bain have just been rocks back there. Um, it's a new partnership, which I'm so proud of, especially after losing that group yesterday. I thought this was Rachel Dewey, if not her best game um, over the year or her career, it was one of them. I thought she was like super effective and just like really was one of those players that calmed us down. You know, Elise is playing on a kind of a bum ankle. 
Um, Grace Haggerty gave us great minutes. So, and then today's team defense for like 60, 70 minutes was up there with the best team defense we've played. Kind of like um, they have some very dangerous players up top, and, and you know it's not that easy to handle one v one. I thought we did a really good job with that. So our defense, I I'm very proud of it. Thanks, Nate. Looking forward to Sunday. Thank you.